Here are five mistakes that students make when choosing a seminar topic. I'm doing this video because we lecturers, we are tired of seeing the same mistakes repeated over and over again. And this hinders students from getting the A grade that they deserve. Top on the list is choosing a broad topic. When it comes to choosing a topic for your seminar, you have to pick something that is not too large for you to explore, for you to research on. So for example, if you are studying public health, you can just go and pick something like um, reproductive health or family health or even infectious diseases that is just a lot to cover on okay for example infectious diseases we have so many so where are you even going to start from okay so if you are choosing a topic make sure you pick something you just pick a particular infectious disease for example and not all just infectious um, diseases if you're picking something on family health you can talk about family planning for example or if you're picking something on reproductive health you can talk about infertility okay and you can even be more specific and pick a region for example you said if infertility in nigeria okay and that will narrow down your topic it will narrow down your research and it will enable you to to um, research properly on it because if you pick a, a very broad topic like infectious diseases you will be confused and overwhelmed with the research um, articles you find out there and this will end up affecting your grades because you won't be able to pass on the message you want to pass on and also your lecturers already know about these diseases and when they first hear about your topic when you are presenting Oh my god they will already have an f in mind or a c in mind definitely not an a to so choosing common topics choosing topics you see um, everywhere online especially when it comes to websites that show you topics seminar topics for you to do on your uh, field of study it's just to act as a guide in choosing your topic you don't just go and copy whatever you see online and come and present someone else is likely to do that or so many people are likely to do that in your set okay because they are also going to type the same thing when they are searching and of course google will bring out the same result and therefore they will pick the same topic so if you are in a class of 100 for example just know that about 50 percent of your set of your colleagues are going to pick the same topic because it's very common for example when it comes to public health we are tired of seeing anemia in pregnancy, malaria, typhoid fever. These are the common topics out there. Drug abuse. There are other things under drug abuse. And if you have seen my previous video on how to choose a good seminar topic, you will see how I was able to bring out a lot of things just using one keyword. For example, using pregnancy complications, I was able to draw out so many topics from it okay so from one keyword you can bring out like 10 20 30 topics so when you see these topics online like drug abuse you can bring out things like alcohol um, 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 cocaine looking at um, drug abuse in pregnant women looking at drug abuse among teenagers looking at drug abuse among children and the rest you just make it more specific that is how to use topics you see online. The third mistake is that they choose a topic they have no interest in, zilch. When it comes to choosing a topic, okay, you have to choose what you like to um, work on. And if you choose something that is boring to you, definitely you will not do so well in um, researching on that topic. So don't make the mistake of picking something you're not interested in. Pick something you will love to explore, okay? Number four, no proper research. 
Okay, so students usually submit their topics to their supervisors for approval and um, I usually ask my students, okay, some said this topic, what do you know on this topic and they are like blank. Some of them even go ahead and copy and paste whatever they see online just from a blog. We always know, we always know, okay. So it's very important when you are choosing a topic for your seminal project or anything that you want to research on you should do a mini research a proper research to find out what is already out there on your topic find out articles are there enough articles on your topic you can just go and pick something like um infertility and when it comes to explaining it you can't even say um how it's being treated what are the current trends okay how it's being related to your field of study you can't even properly tell your supervisor why you want to do the topic that is even at the very beginning because when you begin to research on it some students end up finding that they made a mistake when choosing their topic so that is why it's very important to carry out a proper research when choosing your topic the last mistake is that they don't have an understanding of their topic when students pick a topic to work on for their seminar for example they don't understand what the topic entails okay they just go ahead and pick whatever they want to pick on without finding out what it takes to do that to research on that particular topic so for your topic you have to find out the procedure to actually carry out that research in it okay so different topics come um, with their different um, protocol if you get what i'm saying okay for example if you are going to look at exclusive breastfeeding you are not going to look at treatment of exclusive breastfeeding it makes no sense but when you're talking about diseases for example breast cancer you know that there is going to be treatment okay both of them have similar things like looking at the background but they have differences in which that you can look at for example um, um, treatment or preventive measures when it comes to exclusive breastfeeding I hope that makes a lot of sense so it's very important that you have an understanding of your topic that's all for today's video if you um, enjoyed it and want to know more on how to choose a good seminar topic then I suggest you go and watch my previous video on how to choose a good seminar topic I have also created a playlist specifically for seminar from A to Z anything you want on my seminar playlist I have also written a detailed book on seminar and you can go ahead and send me an email if you are interested in ordering. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.